Eu comecei a viajar com 15 anos. Eu nunca mais parei. As experiências que me transformaram, não necessariamente elas têm algo grandioso, sabe? Envolvido. Todo mundo me conhece como Mila, professora de yoga. Eu nasci e cresci em São Paulo. Faz mais ou menos quatro anos que eu saí de um, do mercado financeiro. Acabei indo atrás dessa formação como professora de yoga. A mente, ela conduz o corpo. Então, o yoga tá lá para através do corpo, mostrar para sua mente, convencer sua mente com argumentos físicos de que você não é a mesma pessoa. Eu resolvi ir para Etiópia. Quero me surpreender. É uma experiência que muda a minha vida. Chegar na Etiópia e desembarcar em Addis Abeba, que é a capital, é surpreendente. É uma cidade grande. Addis é um lugar que você consegue perceber muito que é um ponto de conexão, que é um centro onde tudo começa. Foi uma indicação de um amigo meu. Quando eu avisei que ia chegar em Hades, ele falou que eu tinha que conhecer o mercado, que é o maior mercado a céu aberto da Etiópia. Just with coffee, we need a popcorn, uh -huh. so popcorns are prepared, okay. and we also have uh, 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 charcoal, 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 which we like oh, to yeah, burn. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So that charcoal is used to burn all these types of incense, and he will he will pack it with a, a paper bag. Each corner, each place of Mercato is special for one thing. So we have seen the incense corner. So you need to come here to buy incense. If you go other place, you will not get. After a short distance, we will see some place where people buy different kinds of chili, some basketeries, spices. You know, it's popular in this case, so... And you can try? Yeah. Show me, show me. Eu achei muito incrível porque o Inga me explicou que nesse mercado você pode não só comprar, mas você também pode levar as coisas e trocar. É muito incrível ter essa coisa do escambo ainda nos dias de hoje. Yeah. 
Yeah. Come the green one. Oh, yeah. for tea. Yeah, for tea. And even for different sauces. Sauces? Sauces, yeah. Is the sauce to come on Yeah, I mean, our sauce, Ethiopian sauce, have, has amazing color because we use different spices. Ginger. Yeah, yeah. That's for tea. I want to try. Yeah. I'm trying to try. Tea. It's so much sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You try. <laughs> so this is a tea when somebody has a cold. Yeah. 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 E o mercado é isso, é muita gente indo e vindo, querendo vender, querendo comprar. Na verdade, eu me senti muito cansada depois. É o fluxo de gente, o fluxo energético, o fluxo de informação, é muita coisa acontecendo no mesmo lugar. My name is Yared Aya. I'm a university student here in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa. My family is Ethiopian, but uh, I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. for 18 years, and then I moved here. Part-time, I'm a skateboarder, you know. It's a unique life here. When I moved to Ethiopia four years ago from America, I found the skate group, Ethiopia Skate. And, uh, you know, I just spent a weekend with them and I enjoyed it, so every weekend I go skate with them. Now I'm a part of them. I'm a skateboarder with Ethiopia Skate. My name is Sean Stromso. I'm from California. And I've been back and forth from Ethiopia, like, I think 23 times, so I kind of live in both places. The Ethiopia Skate was born just, you know, in a parking lot, um, a bunch of kids and myself and um, any, basically anybody that was skating in Addis Ababa at the time. We would have like weekend skate sessions, people would come from other neighborhoods, even from abroad, people that are visiting. We had a spot that we would all meet up and skate, and things kind of grew from there. We had social media, we were able to share. So I didn't choose skateboarding here. Uh, the kids here were, like, were skating, they loved it and they were already pretty good at it when I met them. But there wasn't any access to it, so like, what I brought to the table was kind of, uh, I go back and forth a lot, so I would bring boards, and I was able to share what they're doing on social media, and we were able to get you know, a bunch of boards from uh, abroad to, so the whole scene could just like, blossom from there. to make a skate park, uh, but it took like three years of just kind of like, campaigning and, and skating to, to get there. Uh, 
why it's important here and why it's possible here is because it's, the, the city is developing so fast. The country too, there's road, new roads being built every day and there's new skate spots being built every day as well. It helps change people's characters, uh, their outlook on life, like, you know, they feel more confident to pursue their goals, you know? Because they, once they know like they have family backing them, like skateboarding as a family, you know? Skateboard family. You see kids that used to be fighters and thieves and stuff, and now they're just, you know, the kindest kids, and all they want to do is skate and find a good job and, you know, live a good life. We're doing something for the youth, for youth development and for sports in the country. Hopefully trying to reach the Olympics one day, because skateboarding is an Olympic sport, if you didn't know. Yeah, it's now on. Now on, yeah. We've been changing lives for the better. I've noticed that. Eu acho que o esporte tem muito esse poder de salvar vidas, né? Não só pelo fato de dar uma função, uma tarefa, mas também energeticamente falando, o esporte ele canaliza muito da energia do ser humano. E isso é muito importante, porque quando ela canaliza, ela passa a ter um propósito. E esse propósito ele passa a ser um imã na sua vida. <música> Jam. Did you get that? Yeah.